lunchtime here at Amsterdam. So, a bit cooler today, which is good. Sun's still out, a bit cloudy, but definitely nicer walking weather than it has been for the last few days. What I'm going to do now is have a little walk back. It's back towards the market area I was at yesterday. There's a little place there that came recommended to me that I'd also seen online and I, I wanted to try. And I'll explain to you how it, uh, it divides people's opinions on which is better. Will make sense when we get there because of the, uh, the two sort of things that are commonly seen as similar types of, uh, of foods. Everybody has a favourite, one or the other. I know which mine is. Look at this. Look at that beautiful area. So this is uh, Rooks Museum. Lovely sort of lake, man-made lake pond area out the front. Over here, the Van Gogh. Van Gogh Museum. And then Look at this wind. Then we've got here a little outdoor area. It's basketball hoops. Skate park. It's a cool place here. Very cool place, Amsterdam. Good lighting in here. So, the age old question is as I said on the way here, there are two types of people there are burger people and there are hot dog people. Personally, me, hot dog all the way. I'm a hot dog man. Get your mind out the gutter. So, I've come to a place called Bulls and Dogs. So this is not far from the Albert Krupp market uh, where I was in the previous video. This place specializes in hot dogs and burgers with a, with a twist. They do things a little bit differently here. So uh, I'm gonna try a couple of things and, uh, and see what it's all about. But it came very highly recommended to me to come here. So let's see what it's all about. So hot again but well worth it and I'm the only person in here which seems a real shame because um, the menu is really good but it is it's not lunchtime and it's not evening time I'm, I'm here in the mid-afternoon but they've got two locations one in a food hall somewhere else uh, in Amsterdam and also here as I said just about a five minute walk from the Albert Krupp market where I was yesterday so uh, I've ordered my hot dog, which I'll show you when it comes. But also here, they're really famous for their their milkshakes, and I think they're made with like ice cream, so like a thick shake. My favourite ice cream in the whole world. Anyone who knows me, pistachio, pistachio ice cream is just the best for me. Anytime I go away. When you go abroad, you get it a lot more than in the UK. Pistachio ice cream is not really a, a huge thing there. So you get these huge shakes here, but you could also add a shot of alcohol. So the guy here said to me that if you're getting a milkshake, the pistachio one, the shot of alcohol that he would recommend would be spiced rum. Again, that's another favorite of mine. So I've gone for the pistachio. Let me tell you what it's called exactly. It's called Screaming Pistachio Blast with a shot of spiced rum inside and then the hot dog. I'll show you when it comes, show you what it's all about. So the milkshakes come, uh, it's the pistachio flavor, it's got a shot of spiced rum in it and <laughs> let me tell you, this is like a meal in itself. Let me bring you around here just to give you an idea of the, of the size of this, of this milkshake, it is, ginormous and also my hot dog has just arrived as well so what I've gone for for the hot dog uh, recommended is called 
the bacon and chips dog. So this is a, a pork sausage, mustard mayo, bacon and chips crisps on top, um, which has also just come here. So this is uh, this is my little afternoon meal. Came highly recommended to me to come to this place. So let's try it out. Wow. So you can see on top here it's got it's falling apart. It's got the pistachio milkshake in the bottom here. It's a cool little glass. Uh, whipped cream, chocolate drizzle, peanuts on top as well. You can taste the pistachio. You can taste the spice rum, which is great. It comes on a little tray. And they give you a spoon as well, just so you can. Also around the edge of the glass, it's got like puffed rice, Rice Krispies. The spice drum is a good addition to this. I feel like I'm doing dessert first, but... Up next, the bacon and chips dog, which... Look at that bun, pretzel bun. It's packed, packed full of the pork sausage and then small bits of crispy bacon on top, the mustard mayo and then crushed chips, crisps on top. I get the feeling for a man with a, with a fuller beard, it's not going to be the uh, easiest thing to eat. It might get a bit messy, but let's go straight in. Wow. The, the hot dog part itself, the, the sausage part, crisp skim. It's almost like a, like a German bratwurst. A crispy skim, smoky taste. Maybe coming from the bacon as well, it might be smoked bacon. And the, the mustard mayo is delicious. A little crushed chips on top. Nice little change of texture. And the bun. As I said, I'm a, I'm a hot dog guy over a burger, but I think for both hot dogs or burgers, the bun is especially important and for me for a hot dog or a burger a pretzel bun it's my last bite gutted because i absolutely love this and if you like a burger or a hot dog or a milkshake i know it doesn't seem a traditional thing to come and do when you're in uh, in amsterdam but it's so multicultural, the cuisine here, and there's a lot of outside influences um, that the, the style of food all over varies. And there's one more place after this I'm going to go to that will we'll show that again in a bit more detail. But last bite here, bulls and dogs. If you're in Amsterdam, got to come here or come to Amsterdam to come here it's worth the trip apologies had a small technical glitch there as I left but the place that I just ate as I said was called bulls and dogs amazing food um, hosted amazing again I don't know whether it's just because you're a a YouTuber that they um, 
they like to show a bit more interest but I'd like to think the guy in there was uh, was really friendly and would definitely take time to explain everything to anyone who goes in there. One thing he did say to me was, which is frustrating on my last day here, <laughs> is that there is a food hall in Amsterdam with about 20 different food stalls. So, just gonna stop now, quick beer, finish off some editing, and then the rain started, which I've been expecting for the last three days. So it's finally come this afternoon. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the, the food hall, I think, and check it out.